Next, I am going to put on uh, some medium eyeshadow, and I am going to use it here with this little uh, kit. And lots of times, most of the times, I kind of mix these little shades together. with this little angle brush. It's sort of a medium angled brush. And I'm gonna mix these two medium shades here together. So I'm gonna do it like this, right over my eyelid. Mix it in well. Now another thing that you can do, so as I am doing this because of the way it's slanted, you will see it uh, really making a darker line under my uh, brow bone there and that's really what I'm wanting a medium here and a darker line there now I follow a lady on Facebook she's an older lady but I think she sells some products and she really does a good job with her makeup and here's what she does she takes another little flat brush and she, well and she makes a little dot here and then she really angles it. So you really do want a little V coming out here with your darker makeup. She puts a little dot here. And also I like a little uh, of my eyeshadow under my eye instead of eyeliner. Now I know I look funny, but here we go. So what I'm gonna do is really blush, mix all this in. I'm going to start with this up here. I'm just going to do it with my finger. Now I'm really going to blush this, blend this stuff in. And you will see it doing better in just a minute. Some people actually, with their eye makeup, especially their uh, uh, liner, they will take some type of foundation and kind of fill it in to make it a little more defined especially on that tail there. Now this still looks a little dark, but again, I'm going for sort of a nighttime look. But as I get my other pieces on, I think it'll look a little bit better. Now another thing that's really fun to do is to put a little pop of some kind of color right there. And I have this little shimmer stuff because I just love for every part of my body to shimmer. Remember, I showed you my decolletage. This is liquid eyeshadow that came in one of the boxes I subscribed to. I'm going to show you all that stuff next time, so stay tuned. My favorite things. See, I got a little shimmer there. Isn't that cute? And this is liquid, but it dries firm. Then I'm going to mesh this in a little bit. I don't, of course, want a big splotch here. So, see, I'm looking a little bit better. Now, let me tell you another fun thing. White eyeshadow, um, a little white liner under your eye. Now, that sounds ridiculous. I heard Robin Roberts talking about it, that she had that done by a makeup artist, maybe before a, something she was going on an Emmy or something. But again, it'll define your eye a little bit. I used to, I have some liquid, but it gets in my eye. I think you're really supposed to put it on your uh, waterline there, but that's looking pretty thick, so I'm going to uh, fan this out a little bit and get rid of it so it's not thick. If I had a little thinner white pencil like that, it would work even better. So let's see how this is going to look when I get on my other eyeliner. Now, oh, I forgot to get out my tool and plug it in. So let me get, I have a real surprise for you when it gets to my eye lashes. I'm going to go ahead and put on a little liner under my eyes. Now again, I am a real snob about eyeliner. You should not have a real dark line that completely encloses your eye. What you really want is it just to come about halfway. Now I have some liquid eyeliner and I am not real skilled at this. I have some liquid eyeliner, and I have heard that a good way of applying that is just to kind of lay it down rather than drawing a line. 
But what I'm gonna to try to do today is draw a little light line uh, under my eye here from the corner and only about two thirds of the way. See, I'm gonna draw just a little bit about two thirds of the way. I can hardly see it. Okay, there it goes, two thirds of the way. And you would do the same thing at the top because you don't want to close in your eye. I'm not real skilled at this. I've known people to get a tattoo like this too. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do anything permanent. So that's where I'm going for right now. Now, the fun part are my eyelashes. Just you wait. Well, the first thing you do, I want to tell you, I love pretty eyelashes. Now, some people put uh, your artificial lashes on, and if you do, you really just want them on the ends. I've never done that. My grandsons, I'm afraid they fall off my face, even though some of them are metallic. And, uh, you know, some of them have like a, uh, you know, they have a metal uh, that really apply there. So I'm afraid it would fall off my body. My grandson say, Daddy, you got a spider on you, and then get out that old electric flask water and zap it. But what, so what I have used, I told you I had my lips done. Uh, I had uh, have, it was in that study. And with that little bit of money I got, I bought this Latisse. This is expensive stuff. I think it's over $100. And you just apply it to your eyelashes, but it really does work. Now, I also wanted, um, my, my dermatologist gave me a prescription for a generic that's a lot cheaper. It's probably half price, so I'll be using that soon. You just put it on your eyelashes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to really try to build them up. I'm going to start with this white because it's just going to kind of give you a base coat. You're going to want at least two coats of uh, mascara. So I'm gonna go down and you roll it as you go so you make sure you're getting all the uh, product off. You go down and sort of jiggle, jiggle, go way down and come on up with it. Now this will dry a little more clear. I'm gonna wait a minute and let it dry. I have seen also, it seems that your eyelash products have a little fiber or something in them so it adheres to your lashes. I have, before I learned all these techniques, put on your first coat of eye mascara and then put a little powder on it, a little talcum powder on your lashes and wait a few minutes and when you put your next coat on it, it will have thickened them a little. Okay, I've also heard that you should do your bottom first because then when you go up to do your bottom, you will be getting your product on your eyes. I forget to do that. And then another uh, consultant said she did one eye at a time so her makeup wouldn't dry and clump. I've decided the main way, a reason my makeup clumps is because I use leave my mascara to get a little old and it clumps. This is one of the products I got in my box, and I went back and got the uh, larger model of it. You see it's got a big hourglass um, wand here. Get a thick wand. You don't want a little tiny, tiny wand. So we're going to do the same thing. Come down, jiggle, jiggle, and come out. That's what the lady on Facebook says. I think it's Blessed Beauty, is her name. Go down. Wiggle, 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 come out. Go down, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You really want that product on the tip of your, of your outer tips. Now see, these is coming along pretty good for not artificial lashes. I'll do some more here. I used to, before I got all into this, just use a drugstore model, that Maybelline that's in a pink tube with a green top and I would get a uh, black and I would get um, a thick wand with it. And that's really a good product too. Now I'm trying to keep my lashes separated as I go. All right, now I have something very, I'm gonna do the bottom. Now with my bottom, 
Mm, I thought I had another little tube out here. With my bottom, uh, I don't mind if it's a smaller tube. And, because uh, you don't need those so thick. Might got a little too much on it. If I did, then I'll just take my little Q-tip and get it off. Or my little brush that I got for the dollar store and get it cleaned up here. Now, I've never been too much about curling my eyelashes. Y'all have all had those big eyelash curlers. Lord help me take a mm -hmm. You know that you just clamp it on your eyelashes. Well, I've tried that, but it's not wonderful. Pick it around here in my drawer. Here it is. Y'all have used that. I heard somebody recently that used hers and she would warm it with her hair dryer so it would curl better. But look what I have found. This is an electric eyelash curler, a warm one. Now, it's not too hot. It's warm. It feels good. You have to charge it. I got it on Amazon for less than $20. Have you ever seen this? This is a fun gadget, but I still don't do it too well. So you go cut them down at the bottom and you're gonna to try to really cur to curl them back. Now, what you're trying to do is keep your eyelashes from sticking straight out. Because sometimes mine will hit my glasses when I've got that uh, mascara on them. I've really brushed them out long. So does this really help? I'm not sure. But it's kind of fun. Sometimes I don't get my eyelashes curled. Now, when I'm doing this, sometimes they clump up a little bit. And you see, I'll have to take one of my little tools and try to separate them out. And then you're supposed to tip them off. You're supposed to tip them off again. Really just your outer lashes. I think this product has a little fibers or something in it that adheres well. So that's my eyes. And this is more of a nighttime look. I probably wouldn't put this much on for a daytime look. And see? Then with my glasses on, you can still see my eyes. I'm gonna stop this right now and come back and do my lips.